Have you ever wanted to write a number as text values? Well, with new functionality in Excel, you now can. I love this feature. It's pretty hidden, but it's pretty awesome. So if you want a copy of this workbook to follow along, you can download it. So really, really obscure function is Bart text. No idea why this exists, but essentially it can convert a number to text. But there is a catch. It is in Thai. It only works for the Thai language. Baht is the name of the currency in Thailand. I live in Cambodia, which is next to Thailand. So I use Baht quite a lot when I go there. And what it will do is it will spell out the number and then it will say Baht and X Sitang if it's got uh, a decimal place. So let's uh, see what we can do with this. Because another function that you can have is the translate function. So brand new in Excel, now you have the ability to do equals translate and you can do the text and then source language. It usually auto detects that. It definitely will from Thai and target language is according to the language of your PC. So equals translate will convert that into this, which is kind of what we want. 4,476 million. Let's put this as a comma style to see it there. Yep. So it's got it like that. And then it says, and eight baht. It ends with baht. So we're just going to combine these in a formula. And we're also going to edit out the baht because we don't need that. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to do it with this one. So equals, I'm going to say translate, press tab to lock that in. And instead of text, I'm just going to do baht text these two together, close my brackets for bar text, close my brackets for translate, and it is just showing me like that. Now I do want to exclude the last thing, which is going to be bar, because I can drag these down and it will pretty much show it to me like that. And note where there is a decimal, it will say 30 satang. That is the cents or pennies denomination version of bar. So it will carry on like this. Sometimes it does a full stop as well, uh, it's kind of a bit unpredictable, I've found. So what I do is I'm going to actually just extract everything before the last space bar. So for that, you have another fairly new function, which is going to be, let me do it in here. It's going to be text before. So I'm going to say every text before the delimiter after this, press a comma to go delimiter. Note the ones in square brackets are optional. So the delimiter is going to be speech marks, speech, speech marks. You have to use speech marks before and after text when you're referring to it in a formula in Excel. And in this case, the text is just a space. Now, if I do it like this, it's going to do everything before the first space that it finds. But if I want to do the instance number to be the second space i can do two and it will do everything until the second one but if i want to do everything from the right hand side from the end of the data i can do minus one and then it will extract everything before the last space so if i drag this down i'm already almost there so yeah so this is the function essentially to get you almost there the only time where this doesn't work exactly is if you have decimal places so here I have got 0.4 if I expend, extend that or give it a decimal place. So it does say BART 40. So if I want to extract and replace BART in the middle of a sentence with point, I can then do that as well. So here I'm going to add another part, which is going to be substitute. And I'm going to say old text is going to be space speech marks, space, dot, space, speech marks. And new text is going to be speech marks, space, point, space, speech marks. Of course, if you wanted to do this as currencies, you could just replace this with pound, with dollar, with euro, and it would work quite well. There we go. So now it's 0 0.35, 0 0.30. And I think it works pretty well. This would have been really useful back in the days where we were still writing checks because you needed to write out checks in text formats. I know there's loads of workarounds using VBA to create this, but now that we have Translate with the very obscure thing that is Bart text that has been around for ages, it is pretty easy to do. How it would work with currencies. 
So I'm going to write equals substitute, and I'm going to say now translate, and then I'm going to say Bart text, and then I'm going to click on this one, close my brackets two times, go back to the substitute, old text I'm going to translate is Bart. New text is going to be dollars. Close my brackets, and now it's just going to translate it, but then I have dollars, there you go, $63 like this. Now, if I want to also do the satang part, I can do another substitute. So substitute, and then I can also do old text to be satang. And then I'm going to replace that with cents like this. Close my brackets. And if I drag that down, there you go. So this one works. Or well, let's do this one, 0.63. Oh, one last thing. You only have this currently in the current channel in Microsoft 365. So if you don't have that version, then you don't have it. To check, go to File and then Account. And then here I am on the beta channel of Microsoft 365. If you see beta channel or if you see current channel, you will have this. If you see another channel like monthly enterprise or if you see semi-annual channel, then you will be getting it soon, but not at the time of making this video. And finally, if you have Excel 2024, Excel 2021, Excel 2016, you will not have this feature. I said that was the last thing, but I am going to show you how you can get to it if you don't have that feature. So if you go to Google Sheets, Google Sheets has had the feature essentially for years using pretty much the same formulas. In Google, you have equals bar text as well. And I can click on this number. And yeah, it will do an autofill suggestion. I'm going to press OK. And you also have equals Google Translate. Google Translate is pretty much the same as Excel's Translate. It's been around for ages. If I do that one and then close my brackets, it will translate into English, the language of my computer. By the way, if you want to Google Translate or Excel Translate to a specific thing, you can put something in source language, which is usually TH for Thai, and then source target language can be FR for French. It's usually two letter codes like this, and now it's doing it to translate to French. Also works in Excel. Another thing I forgot to mention with the Excel thing is that this method goes up to two decimal points, but not after two decimal points. So here it actually goes uh, to 74, means 74. It does round, uh, but so if this was eight, it would be 75. But yeah, that is something to bear in mind. That doesn't go more than two decimal places, but with this, you can adapt it anyway. So to combine it, to work in Google Sheets, I would do Google Translate, open, and then just close immediately, and this will be in English. Now, text before doesn't actually work in Google at the moment, but you can do substitute like before. So I can say that one, and then I can search for Bart and replace with pounds and close my brackets. And then I can also do another substitute. And I can search for satang and replace with pence, like this for the English version, British. And then I can drag it down. And yeah, as I said before, if there are three decimal places, it will round it to the nearest two decimal places. Google Sheets is a free app, so you just need a Google account to get to it. And then you can do this directly with it. So if you really want this feature, but you don't have the latest version of Excel, here is how you can do it. So my name is David Benham, and I have tons of videos on Excel, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you like this kind of video, then check out my other content. Thanks for watching.